In 1891, Marklin releases the first model railroad system, a clockwork locomotive with cars and an expandable track. In 1896, Carlyle and Finch develops electric chains that run on metal track. 1901 saw the first Lionel train go on display. During the 1930s, accurately detailed O scale and the smaller HO scale and double O gauge trains became available. In the early 1940s, World War II stops production of electric train sets. By the early 1950s, toy trains become the number one toy for boys. And during the mid 50s, many adults take up model railroading as a hobby, and plastic becomes widely used in model train production. Then in 1962, N scale trains, they're nearly half the size of HO and double O, come into existence. In 1968. LGB introduces large G scale trains for garden railroading. In 1972, Marklin introduces the Z scale train. The big breakthrough came in the 1980s with digital technology changing the way model trains operate. Digital command control systems became a reality. With DCC, one could operate more than one train on the same track and add more realistic lighting and sound effects. In 2007, T-scale trains, about half the size of the miniature Z-scale trains, reached the market, and today model trains continue in popularity, especially with baby boomers in the UK, Germany, Australia, New Zealand, and Japan. In the US and Canada alone, there's an estimated half million enthusiasts. But it doesn't stop there. Many hobbyists are using JMRI, Java Model Railroad Interface, to control locomotives from a computer, tablet, or smartphone. And downloadable scale model buildings are becoming a popular way to quickly and economically build photorealistic buildings that closely resemble real structures.